Moscow Reuters Russia's central bank has the tools to address market shocks if the United States applies new sanctions on Russian treasury bonds, its central bank governor said on Thursday. Russian central bank governor Elvira Nabilina gestures during a news conference in Moscow, Russia, June 16, 2017. Reuters Sergei Karpuk and Washington is considering expanding sanctions against Russia and may impose restrictions on buying Russian bonds, known as OFZs and popular among international investors. Foreign investors held a record high 2.18 trillion rubles $36.46 billion of OFZs as of October 1, according to central bank data. That was a record 33% share of the existing paper. Speaking to the lower house of parliament, Governor Elvira Nabilina played down trouble from any sanctions that could restrict buying OFZ bonds, which Russia needs to cover budget deficit. First of all, we do not know what decision would be made on OFZs. In our view, there will be no serious negative consequences, Nabilina said, referring to possible U.S. sanctions. In any case we have sufficient tools to address shocks of this kind, she said. Under a sanctions bill drafted to punish Russia for alleged meddling in U.S. elections in 2016, the U.S. Secretary of the Treasury must submit a report describing in detail the potential effects of expanding sanctions to include sovereign debt in the range of derivative products. Ruble-denominated OFZ bonds have enjoyed strong global demand thanks to the lucrative yields. Yields of 10-year bonds hovered at 7.7% on Thursday RU10YTRR, far above Russian annual inflation, which has slipped below 3%. Nabilina said yields of OFZ bonds could jump higher if new sanctions applied. But the market reaction is likely to be short-lived, she said. In general, immunity of the financial system to various negative decisions that could be made is now higher than, say, it was three years ago, Nabilina said. The Russian banking sector is always willing to buy into OFZ bonds, Nabilina added, $1.59.7955 rubles reporting by Elena Fabriknaya writing by Polina Nikolskaya and Andre Ostruck graphic and editing by Jeremy Gauntor standards to Thomson Reuters Trust principles.